Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bricia. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. If you're not new, hello, welcome back. So today's video is going to be about like my birth chart. If you're not familiar about it, um, neither am I. Um, this is my first time kind of like, I mean, I did it, I looked it up prior to doing this video just to kind of get bits and, bits and pieces of it. website that I'm using is called astro.cafeastrology.com. I think that's the correct. Anyways, I'll link it down below in the, in the description just in case. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not what it is. Just put your first and last name, um, your gender, your date of birth, and the time you're born, and what city. So I'm just going to be like going over it and reading it with you guys because a lot of you guys always ask me like what's your um, like your moon sign, etc, etc. If you guys are new to this video, um, my sign is Sagittarius. Yeah, it says that Sun is in Sagittarius, re restless, cheerful, friendly. Sun is Sagittarius, people are generally on the go. They have a love for freedom, generally quit, I mean, generally quite easygoing. Sagittarians make friends with people from all walks of life. Although generally easygoing, Sagittarians is a fire sign. They This gives off, made as a generally quick temper. So it says we're quick tempered, which is, I think that's kind of, well, I don't know. I don't know how to generally quick temper. She is good, idealistic, enthusiastic, warm-hearted. She is independent, have a taste for travel and freedom. She is curious and fair-minded. Facts. That is so me. Um, I love, I think out of all the um, zodiac signs, Sagittarius like is the most that loves to travel. And... I do love my freedom. I always say I don't want to feel like a butterfly in a cage. Like I just want to fly. I'm going to spark it up. Anyways, I, guess, I hope you have your um, joint or blunt ready to spark. Okay, so it says um, you have a tendency to be introspective and need some space and seclusion in order to pull up your strength. That is so true. I, I always say I'm like a hermit. It's because like when I'm like by myself, I feel like I'm just like recharging. Like. Do you guys ever feel like when you're, <laughs> don't, okay, if you don't feel like this, don't think I'm weird. Do you guys ever feel like you, when you hang out with people, I did say before in my previous video that I am like empath, if you don't know what that is, Google it so you get a better understanding of what I'm about, what I'm about to tell you. Do you ever feel like when you're with people, um, maybe because I'm empath, like, you just feel like when I'm around a big group of people or crowds, I feel like I feel everybody's energy. I feel I thought I used to think it was anxiety, but it's not. Anyways, at the end of the day, I, I always feel like not tired, but I feel like really drained. I feel like when I before I go, like I feel really good, like very like you know recharged, like manner, like I feel like just up, like my I'm just like good. And then when I feel like it's so weird, like have you ever seen the movie Donnie Darko and that little that that spirit that like pulls like and it's like a not just it's like a I don't know how to explain it. It's like transferring to one person to another. <sighs> and that's what I feel like sometimes when I'm talking to people. I feel like I'm talking to them and then my, they're taking my energy. Like they're taking... And then when they leave, they go off feeling better. And then when I leave them, I feel drained because I took on their emotion. Like, but I, I feel like I feel like I've been recently, recently like doing very good at um, practicing how to protect my energy and to give it out when 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 it's wanted and not be an open, open faucet and just give it out if that makes sense i know that may not make sense to most of you guys because you guys don't feel like that trust me i know I'm a, i feel like i'm a freak sometimes and i don't talk about this often because i know it's just strange and different but anyways that's what i'm working on <laughs> because your ego and your mind is usually on the same page you possess much mental energy you're always in a position to think about what you want, and in many ways, this is an interruption of the will. You are highly intelligent with a great drive to communicate with others. Facts, I do really agree with that. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. You invest a lot of pride in your intellectual capacity. <laughs> That's so funny. You okay, let me reread that. You invest a lot. You invest a lot of pride in your intellectual capacities. You may not always listen as well as you speak. However, that is so true because, and I think. <laughs> And I think maybe that's why, like, in person, like, I, I, I'm not a good listener sometimes. Like, I'll be 
people will be talking and I'm just my mind. I feel like I just have ADHD. Like my mind, well, I do have ADHD. When I was a child, I did have that. So growing up, sometimes things haven't changed so my mind is racing all the time. So I do have um, a hard time focusing on what people are saying sometimes because my mind is just on its world and so on. Um, however, you might be too busy thinking about what to say next. <laughs> I literally just said that, that's so funny. I'm about to go eat right now. Um, haven't eaten anything. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know what the moon means, it, it pretty much means the, the moon represents the emotional response, unconscious predestination, and the self-image. The moon represents the emotion, and the moon sign shows how a person expresses themselves when at home, at ease, and comfortable. Oh, I didn't know that. The moon is in Gemini. Ja, fuck. I heard Geminis are like... This one's kind of boring. They are, they are at their best when they have plenty of things to do beyond routine. That's really true. I did really, really good like under pressure. That one was kind of boring. So the next one is Venus. Um, Venus is in Scorpio. Um, so this one is pretty much like how I love. <laughs> So Venus represents an interest in emotions and values, exchange and sharing with others. Venus is Venus and Scorpio people attract others with their intensity and willingness willingness to commit. They have a strong and concentrated manner which suggests their feelings are deep. Their actions and love tend to promise deep commitment, sexual pleasure, even if they are not telling you this directly. <laughs> That's funny. Venus and Scorpio seems fearless when it comes to intimacy. Potential lovers get the feeling that Venus and Scorpio will never stray. That is so true. I feel like my love, like it can be very intense and very deep where I feel like people think that because it's like that and so strong that people think that I won't leave um, ever. Like I'll never stray. But if something's wrong, I will immediately leave. Like if something's done wrong to me. But I think a lot of people confuse that and get like they get comfortable, you know. You get the feeling that Venus and Scorpio will never stray, that they are intensely loyal to the one they love. They possess you and somehow make it seem attractive to be possessed. Okay, so I have I did say that I think before that I said like I I kinda am like I'm not jealous at all, but I am like I don't know how to explain it, like a little territorial but I'm working on that I really am I think the first step is is admitting but so if you're a Scorpio woman this is how you guys are like I just but the thing about it is like they're the most loyal so loyal to me is love like that's how you show love to me so they have a strong need to control their partner why does it keep saying that they have a strong need to control their partner although this won't be immediately apparent and they may not ever admit to this <laughs> that's so funny Anyways, their body and soul love and commitment can be so intense that it ex explicit is fun and makes loving them very heavy experience. Um, I definitely would say that. I mean, I know it's saying what it's saying, but it also says that it's, it is an experience. And it is. I would say. I'm not trying to, like, I mean that in the humble way. But I think it is very deep and intense, but I've, I've always been told that it's um, an experience in a different I don't know how to explain it, but I, it makes sense. They're, they're, they're saying facts in this. <laughs> Intensity may seem overdone to those looking for a more lighthearted relationship. These people take things to the extreme, and they can be very provocative. Although they, although they want to explore all of your nukes and crannies, they won't always be forthcoming with their own. When you've upset these lovers, you'll know it. <laughs> that is so true. I, I'm not good. Like, if I'm upset, like, um, like obviously I'm not going to be, like, um, a fucking loose cannon, but you can tell when I'm upset. Like, it definitely shows. I think on the moment, Venus and Scorpio will shoot you one of the most piercing glares around. <laughs> That's so funny. Or totally blow up. Whichever style they choose, a slighted Scorpio lover is not a pretty sight. That is so true, and I think that is so funny because people are like, Risa, you're so positive. I can never see you getting us that. Like, 
<laughs> like they're so funny like I think it's so sweet because like I mean I'm not fucking crazy but I think it is pretty like I don't know let me not expose myself but I just I agree okay so pleasing Venus and Scorpio involves demonstrating your complete commitment and loyalty to them that is very true I feel like yeah, that's that's really really true. I feel like doing that, like showing me commitment, like people to me talk is cheap. Like show me, um, you want that? Do something drastically to show me that you really want me. I hate like, I don't know why I'm like that, but I am. Um, they're proud of their courage in these matters. If you can, then they're deserving. Relinquish and some of the control in their relationship. Let them feel they own you. Jeez, this makes it sound like I'm so toxic. I kind of don't want to read it anymore. Without taking it to extremes, remember, though, that some Venus and Scorpio lovers can can and will take advantage of you on a subtle level. If only, if only to keep you all to themselves, let them have their secrets and their silences. I make it seem like I'm shady or something, like I'm crazy. Can be jealous and possess. Oh, my God. Why do they just, like, why do they keep throwing that in there? Can be jealous and possessive if you disappoint or deceive in love. The grasp of reality and the duty. She is thrifty, reserved, and usually not given to showing off. She likes truth and justice and love. Her sentiments are sincere and deep. She never plays false. She is, of course, faithful in love and faithful in love and friendship. She might love a much older person, appreciating that the person's intelligence and good sense. See, that's why. I, that's so true. I just made a video about like an older man. Like there, there it goes. That's why. Anyways, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Um, I'm freaking starving, so I'm gonna go eat right now. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.